Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, September 22nd. To say that Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's address to the United Nations today did not go over well with the U.S. and his allies would be an understatement. The U.S. delegation walked out as Ahmadinejad spoke out against the U.S. He accused the U.S. of using, quote, the mysterious September 11th incident as an excuse for wars against Afghanistan and Iraq. He looked back at U.S. history asking who engaged in slavery, colonialism, supported military regimes, and triggered world wars. More than a dozen U.N. diplomats from France and other countries also walked out during the Ahmadinejad remarks. In Washington, another day, another deadlock in Congress, another threat of a government shutdown. A move to pass a short-term spending bill failed in the House yesterday. Republicans with Tea Party backing joined Democrats in defeating the bill. The Tea Party Republicans say they want more spending cuts. Democrats want more funding for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. House leaders are scrambling to find votes this week. Congress is scheduled to go into recess next week, and without a new bill, funding to run the government expires next Friday. Out on the campaign trail, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney picked up an endorsement today from a key congressman. Representative Darrell Issa of California gave the nod to the former Massachusetts governor. Issa is considered a conservative and an outspoken critic of President Obama. The latest polls show Romney trailing Texas Governor Rick Perry in the overall Republican primary race. However, a poll today gave Romney a big lead among voters in New Hampshire, where Ron Paul is running second, John Huntsman third, and Perry fourth. And in New Jersey, former Olympic track star Carl Lewis suffered a political setback. A federal appeals court ruled that Lewis should be removed from the ballots for a state senate. The court said Lewis does not meet the state's four-year residency requirement. It reversed an earlier ruling by the Third Circuit Court that Lewis was legally a candidate. Lewis's attorney says there's no decision yet on an appeal. That's your political roundup for Thursday, September 22nd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and economic developments throughout the day.